hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel so to start i'm just going to be combing through my hair make sure making sure that it's free from tangles and to prep the hair ready for our braids today and if you have not yet checked out my natural hair treatment video i'm going to link it down below because that's the reason why my hair isn't breaking okay so the canicle long hair i'm going to be using today is from crystal hair you can use any hair type of your choice be it expression superstar any of your choice so right now i'm just demonstrating how you're going to cut your hair and please note i cut the whole hair that's from the front to the back i cut it into four and i'm just demonstrating how you can position your hair before cutting but the easiest way is to cut the bundle the way it comes it comes really long you cut it into two equal halves then you cut each side again into two to get four equal parts after that you're just going to pull the ends and make sure it's, it's not blunt and by pulling the edges of the bundle it makes it longer and it's just nice if you get what i'm saying after that i'm just going to comb through or brush through however you want to call it and after brushing you can apply some hair oil of your choice just a little bit such that to make braiding even more easy then i'm just showing you guys how i separate the hair how i hold the hair before i braid i separate the hair into two then i send i use my fingers as I don't even know how they are called with my fingers and i stick them inward and then i tend to the other side making sure that they are in three different sections hope i explained that right and i must confess this is the most difficult part in breathing your hair getting the line straight like one minute and i had no mirror behind me so i was just doing freestyle blind man method and i was trying at one point i'll feel it i'll feel like it's straight the next minute my village people in my head will be like oh no that's not straight whereas i got it straight already but i tried and tried and tried and at the end of the day i was like hmm, nobody got time to be perfect so i'm just going to work with the line that i have and that's what i finally did just by looking at the clips i saw i saw that i already had a perfect line or almost there but I later on adjusted the line thinking the one i had wasn't perfect or wasn't good enough so you just have to follow the movement of my hands but i'm going to explain better with the next braid So after sectioning my hair, I'm just going to use this clip thingy and I'm just going to clip the rest of my hair which is not needed for this braid and just still doing the same thing, patting the hair. Then to start, I'm just going to pinch a little bit of my hair like a small section. I'm not taking everything. Then I try to place my hair against the braid to make sure that there are three different sections and i'm just basically crisscrossing like this finger is sending to the other side i don't know if you're understanding but i'm just crisscrossing and making sure that at each given point 
I have three different sections or parts. And you're basically... The way I position my hands is like I'm about to do corn rolls. So those that already know how to do corn rolls is really going to be easy for you. So I just continue breathing and please excuse my face. A girl, I'm still trying to walk on my face and take out all the acne and stuff but it's going to be fine today it's about the hair not the face okay mm -hmm. so i'm just going to attach the rubber band to it and then move on to the next braid So I continued braiding my hair and I felt like this was halfway through my hair and it was looking pretty good so I just came to show you guys how it looks and just to give some more tips in case you didn't get it the first or the second time I explained. So I'm going to separate my hair then send my fingers inward, pinch a little bit of hair, try to separate the hair. So my hair is in three parts, the same as the canicolon hair, and I'm just going to crisscross the hair just like that. And I was just feeling the braid if it's firm enough. And I know for some people the braids are really big, but this is what I prefer. So it's a matter of personal preference. I prefer my braids bigger and also you have to you consider taking a break or two because your hands might hurt in the process and your butt too so you really want to rest from time to time but it's all good you pay off okay so you'll be fulfilled and also i'm not doing this tutorial or this video just so that people should be like hey minami can do her hair she's so talented i'm here to inspire you and to let you know that if i can do it then you can do it too and it's not about you not having someone to do your hair or not being able to go to the salon sometimes it just brings fulfillment just to know that i can do this thing for myself in case there's nobody or those times when as poverty or some kind of things and you cannot get to the salon you can always do something and look neat and keep your hair good and in protective style so that's the reason for this video i hope you're enjoying it so far so i'm just going to continue doing it i'm just going to continue doing the braids and i'm going to come back to show you how to do the front part So for the front part, you might want to use any clear gel or the eco styler just to apply to the roots of your hair such that when you braid the hair, it's going to be even more smooth at the bottom. But it's optional, but it's really going to make it look good. So you're just going to do that. I realized the clip wasn't clear enough or you were not seeing what I was doing because my hands were covering everything that I was doing. So after doing this line, I'm just going to repeat what I did on the other side such that you can clearly see the movement of my hands and get what I'm doing right. And some people might want to use rubber bands, but I think it's personally or my advice or what I've noticed, rubber bands are not very good for your hair unless if you don't want to stay with the hairstyle maybe you want to have it for a week but if you want to keep your hair for a longer period of time it's not advisable to use rubber bands because it's going to rip off your hair or cut it or however you want to call it so yes this is how i place my fingers i don't know if you saw it 
how I place my fingers and I'm crisscrossing and the other hand is trying to untangle the hair because when when braiding your hair be it cornrows or braids while you're braiding the top part and if you're not trying to detangle it like just to roll your hands towards the end it's going to tangle or since the movement like what I say you're crisscrossing so the bottom part will also be doing the same thing you're doing at the top and you might end up with a terrible braid so you always try to unravel the bottom and make sure it's right okay we're well, finally down to the last braid um share your experiences with me while i was really small when my mom would be doing my hair the last braid never seemed to finish like you're always excited like you want to go and flaunt that hair so you're really in a haste to do that and you're so impatient with the last braid you're like hey and the last braid is mostly really painful because you're like you're excited you just want to get out that stool and go and flaunt your hair with your friends but okay back to the video so i'm just going to braid 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 attach the rubber band we continue so this was the next day i slept so i'm just going to cut the braids to the desired length i want not really the desired length because maybe i would have preferred it shorter but my hair is really long so i had to go with the flow i actually braided my braided the i actually braided my hair to the length of my natural hair do you know what i'm saying yes if my hair is as long as the braid so if i cut it any short i'm going to be cutting my hair and i don't want that so i'm just going to apply some hair oil for some shine then i'm going to do my baby hair off camera just because it's so optional you mustn't do it some people don't like baby hair and i'm going to use this nice hair decorations I don't really know how it's called and i'm just going to put it here and there in all the random places i'm not going to put it on every braid but i'm just going to just freestyle do it when it looks good for you like i said it's natural um personal preference so when it looks good you feel it like it's nice okay So I'm just going to try these. I've been seeing it on Pinterest and all, but this is the first time I'm trying it out. I got some yellow thread and I'm just going to fold it into four halves, create a make a knot at the bottom and try to tie it down, tie it round a braid. Just to make some fun nice thing and different and extra something like that and you see it loosening and i'm still struggling don't give up continue if you want something good you're going to work hard for it if you want it that bad you're going to do it so i'm just going to wrap it round when i get to a certain point i'm going to tie it down and i start wrapping it and going upwards just to create like crosses or some kind of x x shade x shape like x like an x so i'm just going to continue and tie that down so so far i hope you like this video and i hope it helps thanks for watching stay blessed